Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com. Just going to take you through the 633 uh, file storage menu. Um, so we have, let's bring it closer. Uh, so we have take list, and what's going to be in take list is all your takes. Uh, so right now we don't have a scene, so they just literally have all takes. Um, and you can change and customize uh, what the next one's going to be, as well as add notes, um, either save notes in the form of phrases or just create notes and type them, do whatever you want, add a load of different codes, digits, press OK, and it's saved. Um, this is, again, going to go into your sound report, so the more accurate you can make all this, the happier post-production will be with you. Uh, and it will give you general info on everything before as well, in case you want to go back and check and say, how many takes of whatever did we do? Um, and then we can go into file list, kind of linked to take list, it's just one step back. Um, and this is where we see the overview of the SD and the CF card that we're recording to in dual format, how much space we have left, um, what kind of format they're in. Um, and we can actually, unlike the 664 where you have to go into the daily folder, the 633 you can actually create a sound report just straight from uh, the actual card. So you just click sound, oh. You don't do that. You can copy to we make a sound report, and the sound report we've generated within that. Uh, you also have these nice options, which are empty trash. So, for instance, things that you actually delete are never uh, deleted on this device unless you go into empty trash. Otherwise, they're just saved in the trash folder. Uh, you can rename your SD card, which is kind of handy if you need it to be card one, card two, card three, just to help the IT. Um, and you can erase and format, which is obviously what you can also do in the file storage menu as a separate option. And copy to CF, but I mean, that it will take longer than on a computer, so only if you really need to or have time, it's lunch or something like that. Um, so that's kind of, yeah, file storage. So folder options is basically a hierarchy of how things are going to gonna be done. Uh, so you want, you can uh, make a top level as a daily folder, um, and then you could have a mid level as scene and a bottom as a take. Um, I think you pretty much only need one top level uh, in terms of like a project, and then maybe a mid level as dailies, and then you can record uh, several different things on the same card and still have everything organized. Uh, so that's something you can play around with. Um, and this is all the sound report data that you can uh, that is included in the sound report, and so a lot of these are user defined, um, and some are just uh, whatever is actually selected in terms of hardware. So obviously, bit depth is obviously you don't need to enter that in because it's already chosen in the system for you. Uh, so yeah, max file size. This is really handy for if you're transferring. Um, uh, rushes between uh, hard drives and things like XFAT and going to Mac and stuff. They have, unless they're formatted specifically for that device, they're usually built in with a, a four gigabyte file limit for a single file. Um, so this one will nicely splice it um, seamlessly in a way, uh, so you don't lose anything in between. Um, and you can make shorter versions as well. So it can make it easier for sending files. So for instance, we transfer or something, you want to just have it as uh, two gig, because then you, when you uh, zip file that, you're going to have lots more space to be able to send. Um, uh, scene increment mode, uh, mine's always numeric. Uh, for instance, scene one, and then I'll, well, I'll do how I usually set mine up is I'll do scene, and then I'll do a dash. I'll show you on here actually. So I'll do uh, in terms of scene. So I'll enter a new one. So I'll always do one. Wait, let me just do this quickly. I'll do one dash one. So you can see that on there. One dash one. Um, and so what that means is so if I just randomly record my voice some more. So it, this would equate to scene one, slate one, TO one for take one. So we can have numerous ones of those. And then if we wanted to skip ahead. Uh, which we do by pressing the headphone, well, first we stop, headphone and sliding across, as in fast-forwarding, 
uh, we can then make the next increment, which would then equal basically the next slate. Um, and you can see on here that if I record now it's 1-2. Um, and this is really handy because then you don't have to go in and manually change the slate each time. Um, and also post-production can get the scene name, scene number even, which is really handy. Uh, and you can do this as uh, numeric as well, because some people do, uh, instead of numbers for slates, they do characters. So you can also do characters as well. Um, and you want to, uh, what is it, take reset? Yeah, take reset mode basically resets the tape number that if you make a new scene or there's a new daily folder. So, uh, so we just change scene there, and it'll go back to take one. Um, and playback mode. So we only want to play things once through. I mean, you can put it on a loop as well if you want. Sometimes it gets really annoying. You can repeat everything. You can play everything, uh, or you can repeat one. I mean, I'd usually go for repeat one because then people can just keep listening to the same take over and over again. Um, and you can see on here that we have a default playback option. So this is kind of your main card, as it were, that you're going to use all the time. I usually do SD cards. You can also do the CF, obviously, uh, personally up to you. Um, and here's, again, your two options for how you erase and format either the SD or the CF card. Cool. And that's your crash course on file storage on the 633.